Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. Remove those, and remove that one. And even remove that one back to there. And then take this again and bring that out. Right, it doesn't like to come down the hill. End point must be horizontal. I need you to be coming out there. That's where it's got to go. So it's in order to be able to drop down, it's got to be done straight. So that one's going to go out and over and it's going to reach that point. This one over here, this one's going to stay up at the level that it is right here. It's going to come over there like that. And it's going to run along the conveyor belt like this. And it's going to get to that point. There. And you can see we got our four drones there busy working. So I'm going to go back in here. I've got the comm control in there. That requires red ones, which I don't yet have. But there was the other one, which was the flight speed. That's 200 of them. So I know it's quite a few, but we can start that working through. So there, I've got a double layer. I've now finally got the configuration of this that I wanted, which was two of those for every one of those. That's all we needed. That's, that's all I wanted was just two on one. This could still be a bit of a gamble. It could still end up being a bit of a mess. It may not work properly, but it's at least worth a try. Um, press R to rotate. So now that one. Press tab. I want three inputs and one output on this. I guess really I would want to, well it doesn't matter which way around they go. Rotate that one. That'd be better, actually. If I, if I was to put that one here, like this. Yeah, that, that, that would work nicely. If, if I put this one down here somewhere. We'll, we'll, we'll plunk that one down there. Just like that. that this, this is going to work. This is, this is going to work well, I believe. So we will take the lower belt down here that one's going to go out that side over and in the higher belt that one's going to go in up there then this belt over here that's going to go out and it's going to go in there and then that's too steep Ah, I see. That one is going to come out there. And it should... Yes, two iron, one gear. And, right, okay, so I've got, I've got the right blend of stuff that I wanted coming out of there. And that should now allow me to go and build everything I need in a brand new factory. I, I have no idea. I don't, I don't know if it's going to work. What do I know about this? I've never played this game before in my life. Um, but then, to be fair, not many people have. This is a new experience for most of us. So, if I've got that belt there, and that belt is now actually doing what I want it to do. Right in there, I've got a couple hundred of these, but that's it at the moment. We could do with more than just that couple hundred. We've got over this so we got all of the ore that we could possibly want i've got a decent store of iron building up on top of throwing out everything that we could possibly want over on this side i think what we really need to do is get another one of these running so that i've got more gears coming out because i don't think that i've got quite enough so i'm going to pop down a machine right there like that now i can't go and take stuff off of the top belt and run it in. I do have to take things off of the bottom belt and run them in. So we have to take it off of there and put it into our machine in here. And then I need to go in there and select that recipe. And then in order to have that coming out, and take a belt that will run from there and it will go that way and back in there 
There's my bots going off. We got only 26 of them left. And then I go here and here. Right, so there's a second one of them. And that's coming out through. This is a lot like Satisfactory. I am getting a lot of the vibes from Satisfactory. Except that we've got the beautiful top-down view that we're so accustomed to getting in Factorio. Which I really like. You've got a lot more sort of precision for moving around, which you have in Satisfactory more than you get in Factorio. Satisfactory is great, but it's the penned-in view all the time that, for me, makes it a little bit more frustrating than it would otherwise be. Like I do find that game quite frustrating with how that um, sort of aspect of it works. Now, I'm going to bring that back up there like that because I want to take this belt and I want to run it out over this way. I want to bring it out further. So I'm going to go up like that and I can take it up over the top of all of this stuff and I can send it all the way out over there if that's what I want to do. I'm not sure that I want to go out all that far. I want to bring it kind of back over this way a bit. I need to get it away from the water and all of these wind turbines and everything. So, I mean, I guess I could just go straight across here. Right. There. Okay, I can go right above absolutely everything here without any trouble. I don't want to go quite that high, I don't think. So I'm going to take it high enough to go across this lot here. And I'm just going to go out to that point for a minute. And then I'm going to bring it over so that I'm avoiding that tower. So we're just going to go over this way. And then I'm going to take it out to about collides with another object. Right, i got to go a little bit higher to go over the smelting facility. I'll take it out to there. And I'll leave it at that for a minute. Now, you can see already on these conveyor belts that we are sticking with the two iron and one gear. Now, I, this could end up backfiring. If we're not able to produce enough gears, it, it will almost definitely end up backfiring. But for now, it should be able to keep up with what we want. Because... All I'm really wanting is for it to... And those drones are already flying a bit fast. So they've got an extra meter per second on that. And in comes the rest of it. So as so long as those belts can stay full and they can keep like processing everything that I want to process, we won't have any problems. Now, I do have a slight issue with this lot here slowing down. Production on that is slowing. So we're going to want to like change those over. We're going to get some more of the magnets running and bring in those over this way. And yeah, so I've, I'm already getting the traditional factory game shortages turning up, causing us problems. That's fine. We, we don't mind that. We don't mind that at all. So if I, I'll snap onto this one. There, yeah, like that. And then we can bring it round. So press zero to reset to... Uh... Zero on the keypad. Is zero on the keypad to reset? So I need to bring that one out, and yeah, end point must be horizontal. So I bring that one down to there, and there we have our conveyor belt has gone out through, and we've gone and like done. There's some more soil pile that has gone through. So I just get rid of this a second, and then I'm going to go shift. Oh, I know why. No, I don't. Well, should be. There, right. For some reason it's not... Oh, it, it wasn't getting rid of the um, thingy in there. So, shift and that should chain together a few of these. I just want to get rid of these trees out of the way a minute. It's slightly irritating. And then I'm running out now. I'm just about run out of fuel. So, I'll go and put... You can shift-click these, by the way. I've just found out. Didn't realize you could shift-click that lot. Should make life a little bit easier for us. We shift-click everything in. I've got some silicon ore. And I've got these organic crystals. 
sure if I want to keep them or if I just want to burn them up. They they are nice for like burning up in the, the, the fuel generator thing. But I'm not sure if I actually want to be doing that or not. Um, next, I want to go with production and I want to take an assembly machine and then I want to drop them. I'm going to put that one in fairly close to where we're dropping down here. Put that one right down there. And I go back here to the belt and we'll run that belt out a little bit. We'll put you in there like that. And now I will go on here, buildings, conveyor belts. That's what I want to start making is the conveyor belts. And then we want to get a Tesla tower. This is the last Tesla tower that we've got. So we need to make some more of them. And it's working. I'm pulling in all the materials that I need as they turn up, coming down that belt in exactly the right order. It's working perfectly. The only issue is if I start doing another replicator next to it with another item on it, is it is it going to be able to cope with that? I want to make some Tesla towers a second. You right there. Just boost that up to making 10 of them. Uh, is yeah, like I, I want to make some more of these. I'm gonna want to get a storage and start building some belts to like go permanently in storage. I don't know where else I'm gonna want to put belts. So just for a minute, I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna take a storage facility. I'm gonna pop that one down like that, right in close. Take one sorter and put it out onto there and a sorter and put it into there. So then I've got a constant supply of belts being made and dropped in. All right, nice, easy, quick, simple. We shouldn't have any problems with them whatsoever. And then I want the next factory to come out right next to this one. I'm only going to be wanting to make one like that. So we'll extend this belt out a little bit just like that. It doesn't have to go very far. I'll go back into production and I'll put another factory. And that can go just there. I don't need to do any more than that. Um, have that tree up out of the way. Is that, that's, no, that's not too close at all. I'm going to get rid of a little bit of that. Go here. And I'll put one of them onto there like that. Now, the other thing that we're going to... We're going to need something extra in this one. So, if we go and have a look at the components, it's this. So, I've already got the two iron and the one gear coming in. But I also need to go and get some magnets coming in. And that's going to be a little more tricky because it's not the, mag it's the magnetic coil things over here. I don't have very many of them. I don't have very much copper coming in either. I've got one smelting facility on copper. We've got one mining vein over here. So we kind of need to do what we did with the iron. But on top of that, in order to be able to properly make these, like I've got... A reasonable amount of copper coming through at the moment. I don't, however, have a reasonable amount of these coming in. So we want to now do a little bit of reconstruction and redesigning over here. So I want to get rid of that lot over there like that for a second. And then I'm going to take a belt and I'm going to run that in a straight line out along here. I would like to have some smelters, and I go one each side, I think. One here, one here, one here, and I'd like to put one there as well. So I'll remove you, and then that one. Oop, nope. Right, if I go in there and I take the recipe and I copy that recipe out like that, if I then shift-click that one, does it have the recipe copied? It does. Right. So that's how you got to do it. You've got to have the recipe selected and then you copy that out afterwards. You can't just copy the recipe and add the recipe in. So we've got four of these now. This could end up being too many. We may not be able to make this work properly, but we're going to give it our best shot. So I want one. No, I don't. I actually want to change that round. Get rid of you. I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm going to put one on that side, 
one on that side. I'm going to leave a gap in between them. I'm going to make it look even. Evenly spaced all the way through. And then I'm going to bring that back. And I'm going to dismantle those conveyors back to that point. I'm going to go into power in here. And I'm going to have a Tesla coil there. And that's going to put the power in. Generation capacity is, nine, is 10 megawatts and we're using 7 to 8 megawatts. We're going to need to go and increase our power facility pretty soon. So now we go back to logistics once more. We run a belt out to there and that one goes to that point and then over to there like that. I'll do the same on this side. I'll go middle... It's going to go straight up and it's going to join in there. So we'll be bringing four lots all in at the same time. I need to make a couple more of these. So I'll make I'll make 20 of them. And then I can go into logistics. So I'll take one there and that's going to jump out. One there that's going to come out. And then we'll run over this way. Zoom in a bit, and uh, we'll put one there, and we'll put one there. So we've now, look at our iron coming back through here. That's that's a lot more like it. The only slight issue we've got is that I don't have enough iron ore running through to keep everything, but actually I do. Like, it, it does seem like I've got enough iron ore to keep this all running. And then once we've kind of backed up a bit on the conveyor belts right here that we've already done, They've filled those all the way up, and this is, like, filled up just about all the way to the brim, and so everything's already backing up on this conveyor belt. I mean, this one doesn't actually seem to be backing up very far on the conveyor belt, but it probably will. I mean, these are backing up a little bit over here. That may now be running fast enough that I don't need to go and make more of these assembling machines. That's all I really wanted. I, I just wanted to be able to make slightly less on these assembling machines at the moment. But, yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm not sure that we're even going to be able to do that. Let's have a look. How are we doing over this way? What have we got in this one? That one's... Wow, we've got loads. This is all I'm doing. Is, is I'm, I'm filling up all of these storages with various different components, which is a good thing. It does mean that we'll start, like accumulating a whole load of these things in time but yeah how, how long before we want to do that so i uh, tell you what let's get rid of that one i get rid of that belt there uh that one can actually no i'm gonna move that it's gonna go back over there a little bit and then we'll go here into logistics and no, i don't want to do that i will br i'll bring him out by one and then i want to run him over this way which means that I kind of want to put it into there so where am I going to bring this I think what we'll want to do is I will bring that one up that one's going to go up to there and it's going to go over this way a little bit we'll bring it round to there like that just up like that and well, now I should think it should be, it should be able to run back down to the surface again. There. Now what? Up that side. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing on here. This, this is pure guesswork at the moment because I need to have an output and an input. I think I no, I don't, I don't want to do that. Right, that that doesn't feel like it's going to be the right way to make this work. So we'll remove all of that back over to there. I'm also going to remove that belt as well because I feel that that's a necessary thing. You in here, you need. Oh, right, so I, I, I just need to get this going into there. So I, I can do that for a minute. In fact, well, I, I know what I'm going to do. In order to make that work properly, I will get... Uh, for some reason, I thought I had to have those going in here as well, but I don't. I don't have to have that at all. So we can have this... This is very, very simple. 
we can go into logistics and we can take this one. We will tab to just a square one like that. Doesn't need to be anything more spectacular than that. And a belt will go into here. And then a belt will go from there and it'll go out onto that side. There. And then I'll have a belt that will come out that side. You over here, you're going to come out this way. Next. Hmm. Ooh. Uh, right, if I was to take that one there and I can tab this one. I can put it that direction. I've got an idea for this. I got an idea like so a lot of this is like learning how to go and like use your various splitters in different ways that you can make them work successfully for you in the different ways that they you know potentially could like help out and that there is a lot of potential on how we can do this this one actually I don't need to do anything different on this I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Before before I go worrying about that, I, 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 I'm I wanting to make these items right here. I need two of them to one of the copper. So, it, it, yeah, my first idea isn't going to work. I was, I was thinking we could, like, blend them. So I don't want to do that. That means I've either got to blend them in the way that I've done that kind of blending over there and keeping two and one running. And whilst that does seem to be a good idea, I'm not sure it's going to be a foolproof way of doing it. Because as soon as you get one going out, the whole system grinds to a halt and we're going to have to clean the lines. And I don't really like that. So it's not a long-term solution. It's just kind of like a one-off at the moment. What I will do, though, is I'll put this one down here. If I bring it out a bit, I put one here, one here, and one here. Right, so I've got three of these machines right in there, and I now need to be able to get these conveyor belts going into these machines and feeding all of them. And this is going to be the slightly tricky bit. And I've got to figure out exactly how I can have these conveyor belts coming in to each of them and make it work. And I don't know that I can even do that. I really, I really don't. I'm really not sure how I can make it do this. Like, there's various ways that we can do this, I think. Like, if I was to bring... Uh, one from that side there, and then I go out. Ooh, I know what I can do. I've got an idea here. Right, we'll, we'll bring it out to this back end over here, like this, right? And I'll go up. That one's going to go up over to there, and it's going to run down that way. Yeah, this 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 is going to work. This This is going to work, right. And then that one is going to come out here. That's going to go up as well. It's going to go out to that point right there. And that's going to connect in there. Perfect. Right. Next, we will go over this side and we will take uh, these. That's going to go back down again onto ground level. And it's going to go here. It's not going to connect up to that belt. It's going to stay on ground level. It's going to go underneath. But that one's going to go out to there. And it's going to run in along here. Up to that point right there. I don't have enough belts. Let me go and get some more. We've now, Fortunately, we now have belts being made. I can click... Can I like take these from all the way over here? I'm looking at that there. I can. Nice. Right. Well, there's 200 belts. I've just picked up 200 belts. And I can get them from a long way away on the base as well. I, I really like that. That is fantastic. And you will go in there like that. And we'll pop down all of them. And then I will go over this side. 
put one out. That's going to go to there. And then this one is going to run over to there like that. Job done. I'll then go into here. I've got one going in there. One going in there. One going in there. Over this side. Got one going in here. One in there. One in there as well. Right. Tesla Tower needs to go down there. Like that. So that, that can connect in. I now need outfeeds. We will take an outfeed that will go from this side and drop into that one. Oh, well, one thing I can't do. I can't put them out like that. And here. Ah. Right, it does. I didn't know that it would go out onto, like, just where the belt is, is kind of, like, changing over. So we can have the two lots onto the single belt over there. That will work just fine. So now I can come back this way and I can remove that bit of belt there. Logistics. Have a belt right there and take that one. And then you're going to run over here. I need to have you up in the air a bit so you can go there and now we drop back down and we join you in here there ha <laughs> ha now we're talking right we got everything set up now so then all I got to do is I select you and you oops and you and you over here magnetic coil I've now got three factories making magnetic coils that is much, much better. They they will run out through. I've got three factories making magnetic coils in there. They will run all the way through and they will just keep like pouring them into here. Now this belt out here, what I then want to do is I want to have that belt looping round. It's going to come from that bit there where it's... Right, why aren't you... Oh, I don't, I, I don't know why it was doing that. It wasn't connecting in properly, but it's now connecting in properly. So we can have these kind of running in through there, and then we'll have a few extras coming in off of the... Well, there's no storage in there. they got nothing left stored. But that's, that's fine. That's, that's not really going to affect anything. And there's our three. So now my problem is I have a shortage of copper. So we need to be ripping up some of this copper stuff and changing this round. Which means probably getting rid of some... Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Oh, this is... I... Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially loving this recipe copy operation. If you need to set the same recipe at the same times, use the uh, arrow down. Oh, arrow down key to copy one of the production facilities that has the same recipe. And then the arrow up key to paste. Okay, that's easy enough. But so long as I remember that. Look at the views on this. All right, if we're going to make this work here, we're wanting to look at power supply. Now, at the moment, we've got... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you'd like to help support the channel, then please check out the affiliated links in the description down below. There's one for Nitrado, who supply gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. There's also Fanatical, who sell a lot of different computer games. If you use the link and also that code in the description, you will actually get a small discount applied to you, and I earn a commission on anything you buy, so you are supporting me by supporting your own gaming habit. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.